Hi, I'm Michelle Karam with Dishes by Michelle in Los Angeles, California. As the holidays roll around, you're sure to be in the kitchen more and more baking and making desserts and such. And one of my favorite desserts that I like to make are English toffee bars. They're fairly simple, they don't require too much, and they're pretty tasty too. In a large mixing bowl, I'm going to take my brown sugar, one cup of softened butter, a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, and one egg yolk. And I'm going to blend this all together. I'm just going to mix it until it's well combined. Okay, so now that we have this all well mixed together, I'm going to take my flour. And I have two cups of flour over here that I'm going to sift into this. And the reason why we use a sifter is because a sifter will aerate your flour, keeping it light, fluffy, and airy. I'm going to use my spoon now, and I'm just going to mix this all together. And it's gonna to kinda of come together to form almost like a little bit of a doughy looking crust that we're going to be making. And we're gonna be putting that on the very bottom. And it's dry and crumbly. And what you're looking for basically is your flour to absorb all of the liquid from the butter and from the vanilla that you've put in there. So once it gets absorbed, you'll see it'll kind of turn into this crust. So now we have this all well combined and I'm going to take it and I'm going to pour it into my Pyrex dish that I have over here. And this is a 13 by nine inch dish that I'm using. And I'm just gonna pour it in there and I'm going to pat it down until it makes kind of a crust, the base of our English toffee bars. And it's not wet, it's not dry, it's just, it's a little moist, it's easy to pat in there, and just you just wanna make one uniform layer. We're going to put this into the oven on 325 degrees for 25 minutes, or until it turns golden brown on the top. That's what you're looking for. While the base of our English toffee bars are cooking in the oven, I'm now going to do our second layer, which is our chocolate layer. And I basically have some mini semi-sweet chocolates over here, and I'm going to put it onto something called a double boiler. And all that a double boiler is, is it's a pot with some water in there, a heat safe bowl, and you've just placed it on top of the boiling water so that it creates the steam underneath there and gently melts the chocolate. You want to be careful though because you can burn chocolate, so always keep an eye on it. If you feel like your flame is too hot or your heat is, make sure you lower it down and just gently melt the chocolate. So I'm going to pour in one and a half cups of chocolate chips in there, mini chocolate chips. You could use regular ones. And I also have two teaspoons of butter over here also, and that's just gonna add for some extra glisten and maybe some flavor. So as you can see, my chocolate is all melted, and we're going to take this, and we're just gonna let this sit here for just a second on the double boiler, and I'm gonna take out my brown sugar cookie crumble for the bottom of our English toffee bars, and we're gonna take this chocolate and we're gonna spread it over a layer on top of that. And lastly, we're going to take our crushed walnuts. Now you could use crushed pecans, you could use crushed peanuts, whatever you like. I'm using crushed walnuts, and we're just gonna sprinkle this over the top. So my toffee bars have been sitting out cooling for about the last hour, hour and a half, and I've cut them, and they look great. They look homemade, they're delicious, and I actually think these would even make a perfect gift for my kids to give to their teachers, because they're really good and it relatively inexpensive to make. They didn't take too much time and I'm sure they would love a homemade treat. I'm Michelle Karam. Thank you so much for watching my video on English toffee bars.